In this video, I'm going to remind you of one of the most effective man-beating concepts in Madden history. It's also one of the most effective ways to beat man-to-man -man coverage in real life. We're going to teach it today out of one formation, but you can apply this to several. We might even be able to show it to you actually out of multiple formations uh, because I'm in the Detroit Lions playbook today. You can apply this, like I said, to any formation, any offense you're running, but the play um, or the concept that we're going to be going over is mesh post. Now, if you are watching this video and you want to learn how I run my trip style, in offense or really any of my offensive ebooks make sure that you join our patreon i'll put a link in the description where you can join the patreon the patreon will get you access to all of my madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks as well as all of the updates to those ebooks we have 10 ebooks out as of today got a bunch of ebook u trips uh trips tied in we're going to be dropping a, a two by two compression ebook uh, within the next couple of weeks before the end of the month of september and then we also just dropped a four three even six one defensive ebook as well as nickel over and several other ones but if you want to check it out again link is in the description we're going to show you this play out of pa slot corner and trips tied in and then we'll show it to you out of some other things as well the the way that you can recreate this basic concept so uh real simple uh, mesh post what it is is we're just going to it's basically what the mesh concept essentially is in madden it's a little different in real life but unfortunately with the way the game plays we it's hard for us to recreate this uh, but we're going to use two drags. So you see here, we're going to drag the two inside receivers. Um, so Godwin's on a drag, Rudolph is on a drag. And then the beauty of this concept is that um, the, the drags are going to serve as like a little pick route, kind of run into one another. Against zone in real life, they would sit. Um, they would basically see that, that it's zone coverage and they would sit in the open grass. But um, unfortunately in Madden, they don't have that built into these routes uh, yet. So hopefully that will be something they add in the future. And then all we're going to do is we're going to take Mike Evans. And what I like to do is put him on a C route uh, or a corner route with outside apprentice. Now, if you don't have outside apprentice, then honestly, I think it's best to just run him across the formation and put him on a streak. Um, I think that's the easiest way to do this. But essentially what we're trying to do here is we're trying to leverage the power of these crossing routes against man to man now the best route on the play is the post route by far it's the best route um and so what we want to do is have other routes that they have to guard so that's where these the the c route comes into play that's where those double drags come into play uh because what will happen is a lot of times you know when they set their their play up they'll start to drop zones maybe they do something like this you know and then now your underneath drag routes can become you know pretty decent it's just little five yard quick hit and routes and again if you have the short in elite i can't stress this enough the short in elite ability on your receivers um it's really really helpful really really helpful for this for a concept like this um it's going to help them get better separation you'll see here again there's that c route um actually under through that um but the c route is a great route it's it's not gonna you're not gonna see it be as good in practice mode as it really is in real game and then another thing that you can do uh with this play is you can wheel the running back so this running back wheel will serve kind of two purposes against man um you'll see here that it kind of creates a misalignment and now the tight end has a lot better of a chance to be able to beat the man-to-man -man coverage but against zone what makes this so good is if you watch this wheel route against zone you can obviously you can quick throw it but the other thing is look at the deep zones it's going to pull those deep zones back just enough for you to hit this um hit this post so let's say that the user is getting really underneath and he's wanting to take away one of these drags this wheel as long as you have the time in the pocket here you can hit that right in that little window right there so that's the importance of having like a running back wheel route uh it really does help this year these wheel routes are so underrated um in terms of how they play against zone you'll notice also with the wheel route that you can a lot of times snap throw so you can snap throw try to get the ball field for a couple quick yards if they're blitzing you if they're blitzing you this is one of this has become one of the best routes in the game against the blitz so you know maybe they're doing something um let me, let me reset here Maybe, maybe the defense is doing something like like this right here. I'm just going to set it up for you. Um, you know, maybe they're usering here, um, you know, and then they're going to they're gonna leverage the power of usering this player, and then they have this guy manned up with the safety. Okay, something like this. 
So they're going to send heavy pressure at you and you're running your mesh post play. You can say, oh, boom, I can hit that wheel. And you see how we can get some miscommunication um, against the man-to-man -man with the wheel drag concept. So this is really simple. And like I said in the intro, you can apply this out of any formation in the game. So I'm going to go over to the gun bunch and show you something else that you can do or um, another variation of this same this same core uh, principle, and it actually has the play called Mesh Post. And you literally don't need to make any hot routes to this play whatsoever. Um, you're going to see right here we can, you know, throw this quick flat to the tight end. Um, you know, really easy. Another thing that you can do with this um, is again, if you want to take advantage of the C route element of this play. You could do something like this. You could motion this guy over on a drag, and now we're running this variation of mesh post, which is still really, really effective. In fact, maybe even more because the C route is going to be a little bit more consistent out of bunch, um, at least from what I've seen. So, you know, you could do stuff like this to make this even better. Another variation of this play would be to mesh with the running back. So you could do something like this. Um, and you'll see now we have a really good read against man, but we also have a really good read against zone. And if you got a big body receiver out there, that C route's going to be pretty effective. So, you know, this is how you can use these little mesh routes um, to really help your offense at every single level of offense this year. You know, doing something like this, really simple, right? But these little drags, you see how they run into each other? They give them just enough separation where they can be a great little check down for you. And again, like I said in the intro, short in a lead on this really does make this play even better. Um, you'll see here, but this post, one of the most consistent man beating routes in the game, as you can see right there. Guys, I want to thank you for watching the video. If you want to learn any of the offensive ebooks we talked about, make sure you're in our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up. Gets you access to everything, all the ebooks, all the updates. If you want to sign up, the link to do that is in the description of the video.